All right. How's it going, people? Liberal Hill back with. Look, when does the impact come? Like, is it Wednesday? Is it Friday? I, I don't know. I just usually try to get the impact review done on Sunday. If it's Wednesday, I have to put it up early. But e either way, um, another good impact show is just the fact that I need that. I need that adrenaline in my arm, and up until the end, good stuff just. No, no excitement. It is hard to describe. It's, you can't say anything bad because you look like a hater. Like honestly, if you say this is a bad show. You're lying to yourself, and you're just trying to be cool on the internet. If you say this was something that you know you have to tell people about, it's memorable. You're lying too. So you're kind of stuck in that crossroad, and. Uh, Impact. You, you got to make some changes, although where you're going isn't half bad. So starting off, you have the open from yet from last week, the cold open. Uh, apparently, Sammy Callahan, you know, he attacked Maria, Mar Marissa, Marissa Santos or whatever. Uh, for uh, yeah, I think he attacked her, and also he got Brian Cage locked up or whatever. And, anyway, let's get past all that. Uh, the first match that also had implications for Bound for Glory. It was Ace Austin versus Eddie Edwards. Winner gets into the S Division title match, uh, the ladder match, or whatever. Uh, you know what? Pretty damn good match. You, uh, I especially like the part that A Austin, Ace Austin, hit his finisher, the fold, and this is what I like. Impact when an S Division guy, a, a smaller guy, hits his finisher. A finisher that you know usually takes somebody out. He, the the, the heavyweight guy, he usually kicks out of it. I know he uh, pinned uh, the adventure guy. I forgot his name. Uh, anyway, that's a great character too. I don't know why they haven't used him. Anyway, he pinned him because you know he's not portrayed to be a strong character. But Eddie Edwards, heavyweight, four world champion, multiple time tag team champion. It's being checked. The list goes on and on and on. Him hitting the phone on him didn't really have it, it didn't have that effect of what it could have been. Uh, in the end, Ace Austin uses uh, a loaded uh, cast full of metal handed to him from uh, I think I got one of the guys of uh, uh, Reno Scum. He just completely cold cocks Eddie Edwards. Also, he was wearing a Ace Austin 316. I just banged your white shirt. If that isn't up. On the impact site, they don't want to make money. They, they, they just don't. That shirt is just, it's a money printer. And Ace Austin, if that's not up on your pro wrestling, the same thing applies. So, anyway, when we pass that, Ace Austin gets into the uh, tag team title, uh, tag team title match, the S Vision ladder match at Mount Glory. When we pass that, do, 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 do. Yeah, Rosemary going up to uh, what was it, Taya, and it is weird friendship. Like Taya thinks that Rosemary's supposed to be the protector or whatever. It's just not happening. Rosemary, I'm wondering where the story's gonna go. Let me move past that. Do, 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 do. Oh, we had the Desi Hit Squad versus the Rascals. Um. Look, let, let me just say what this was. This was a showcase for Mahabali Shira, who, you know, for the most part, did what he was supposed to do, show how terrifying and strong he is compared to the rest of the guys. Uh, oh, you know, the rascal, they show that they're a trio. They're working together. Whatever. And uh, Mahabali Shira hits that. Look, wow. Why is this man Fincher a pop star? I, I'm going to harp on that every time I see it because. It just looks horrible. Come on, bro. Martin, first of all, when Martin Henry did that move, it wasn't impressive. It's never been impressive. It, it shouldn't be a finisher. But it, you can understand Martin Henry, the world's strongest man, you know, Olympian or whatever. You can understand, like, him doing that. Okay, that, that okay, finisher. <laughs> but my least sure doesn't. It's a great setup move. 
I don't know why it's not sky high because he does a pretty damn good sky high and his burrito big guy lift you up high, slam it, bam. It, 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 anyway, my ugly share hits the power slam on. Uh, I, I think it was Dez. No, no, no. It, it was uh, Trey. Not Trey. Dez Trey. Wentz. It was on Wentz. And, but the funny thing is, he dragged uh, Gama Singh's son in the ring. To make the pinfall, so that you know, in a way, makes him look more dominant. Then also next week is going to be Raj from the Busy Hit Squad versus Sabu to see another opening spot in the ladder match uh, for the SBN title. Look, in fact, this is different because for one, Sabu ladder match, you, you know it's going to just be complete chaos, bring the house down. You don't know what you're going to get here. But then again, on the other hand, you have Raj, a variable young guy, a guy that could be a young star, talent on the mic, you know, charisma, you know, not even, not even he wins, but, you know, just a good showing. And plus, you don't really have anybody from the busy kids squad there. I, that's going to be a tough choice. Like, either way, it's going to be a good, you know, whoever gets in there, but I, I, I really want to make, make that decision because. Either way, you got something good. Either way, you pick you pick Raj, you got something good. You pick Sabu, you're going to get something good. And a little bit crazy. Uh, anyway, moving past that. Oh, yeah, you have Katie Forbes coming in. And she thinks Jordan Gray. Oh, maybe it was just mind games. You know, tells her to park her car or whatever. And they get into an argument. And then uh, Jordan says he's going to kick her ass. And then she starts shaking that. Get money. Oh, then you have Havoc versus Taya Valkyrie uh, for the women's knockout title, the, knock, the knockouts title. Um, you know what? Pretty fair, man. You know, it's nothing we haven't seen before. Um, the ending, just about the same. Johnny Bravo gets involved, beats up the referee, <laughs> then gets beat up by Havoc. Tamil Dashwood is there. She attacks Taya after Taya takes out Havoc with the belt. Um, and look, Taya is awesome as far as her character, where it's gone. It used to be just nothing. Now she's incorporated the Hollywood stuff into the uh, in, into what she already had. And it's the voice, the mannerisms. It, it, it's all there. It's all together. You know, great champion. Gets it done the ring, all, all that. You got Havoc. Um, the Havoc with Jamie Mitchell is it, weird because last time I saw Jamie Mitchell, he was beating up Sue. And Sue got around. I, what's his allegiance to? I, I, I guess none because he's like supposed to be the devil, so he can pretty much be. Anyway, I don't think too deep about that. Um, to Neil Dashwood. Versus Taya at Bound for Glory. You know, should, should she be the one to beat Taya? I mean, she's only beaten two people in Impact, and she, if, if, to my knowledge, she isn't. She hasn't been a champion in WWE or anywhere else. So, yeah, well, that would be kind of jumping the gun to put the title on her with you know really no credentials and. I will be hard pressed to see if they have her beat Havoc. I'm not saying they won't, but I just don't know. Like, I, I guess they don't want to put the title on Havoc right now for some reason. Anyway, move past that, move past that. Over here, had a video. Third guys, check out Tesla. Daga, saying they enjoyed attacking Luis Santos and Brian Cage is locked up, blah, blah, blah. Then you had the North in an interview talking about, you know, Conan getting beat up. And then you have Rick Swan and Willie Mack come in saying they're going to beat. Look, first of all, <laughs> Willie and Rich <laughs> together, the, the first week it was cool. Now it's. <laughs> Stop it. It's kind of cool, man. It's kind of stereotypical. It's getting on that black guy in an exploitation movie, 
I'm with Jim Jim Jow, sucker. Word to your mother. It's just like, bro, I, 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 I kind of get it, but no, we. No, I, I'm, it's, it's getting offensive, to tell you the truth, the way it's Swan and Rich, Swan, yeah, Swan and Mac cut promo. It, I'm, 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 I'm 45% offended. Then you have Rob and Rhino, and like, Rich is like, I used to watch you as a little kid, and Rhino just all oh, like, when you were a little kid, you still in the real world. Although that was a good line, that, that wasn't too much. That was just like, man, fuck when you were looking at when you were a kid. You, you can ring seven names to a grown ass man. You so yeah, I, I, okay. Carson Rhino, I had to think. Yeah, I had to think about that. Then Robert now, look, he's gonna turn heel. He's like, you're welcome for the privilege of walking in the ring with us. Right, nice touch, nice nice touch. So yeah. Anyway, um, I guess moving on past that, you had Moose versus Stephen Bond, and I look. I know some of the IWC is going to be like, ha ha, he 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 he, Stephen Bonner, blah 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 blah, uh, blah blah blah, blah <laughs> Stephen Bonner, Stephen Bonner, Stephen Bonner. Um, first of all, Stephen Bonner, excellent physical shape, no more. And he wrestled a pretty decent match, especially in today's climate. I mean, he's a former heavyweight UFC fighter who is pretty much, you know, in his, in his age. The wrestling match was pretty damn decent. Um, then you had uh, Moose came out with the guy, I forgot his name, Trey Tur- Not important, not 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 remotely important. Um, uh, the match ends with the disqualification on Moose, and then he starts beating up Stefan, and then Ken Shamrock comes out. Look, Ken Shamrock, like, as in the shape again. Uh, beats up moves a little drop kick shit. Like let's let's be honest here. His drop kick was complete doo doo water. But the bell the bell suplex was was great. The ankle lock it looked legitimate. And Ken Shamrock look he looks he still looks tough. He's st- he oh he's not like oh watch the UAC fighter I can kick his ass. No it's hey it's Ken Shamrock. Let's you know don't fuck with that guy because he's still. You know, whatever. So I do think the match between him and Moose is it should be fairly decent as long as they don't get into who can out high fly each other or who can be more athletic. If it's just like wrestling, UFC, brawl type thing, it should be a great match. Although don't hold me to that. Um, moving past that, do, 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 Jordan Grace versus uh, Katie Fours. Uh, first of all, Rob and Dam, salute. Um, yeah, you. <sighs> Rob, you you are winning in more ways than one. Um, look, okay, match. The dance stuff was way better than the match. You know, the match was just loud, but that again, Rob and Dam. Lucky, lucky, lucky guy. Um, Jordan Grace wins, and and K Force. Um, I hate to say this, but no, probably couldn't get away with it. But I think she's going places. I, I think that's a good way. But she, yeah, she's gonna be a mainstay in wrestling. Um, and you know, you watch the match, you 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 know why. Um, uh, anyway, moving past that, uh, just, oh, it's a didn't rewind. Who cares? Like really, who who gives a fuck? Um. Uh, then you had, oh, OBE, Jake, Chris, and the monster, Fulton versus Dragon and uh, Tessa. Uh, Dragon and Tessa win by hitting Magnum on Jake. Uh, you know, strong showing for Madman. For, look, the, the guy's a beast. Like, can we put him and Dave as a tag team already and start, start, just start yanking each other out of Like, can we do something with this guy besides just having him as an enforcement? Come on. Uh, and then uh, Tessa, look, I, I, I know on the, uh, in the IWC, people are going to like this. Well, they want some of them want to do it. Tessa Blanchard, best female wrestler in, 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 in pro wrestling today. I don't, despite the brand and you know, all that stuff right there. 
best female wrestler. I, I still like Oscar, you know, because you know, I really, I really like Oscar in general. But as far as character, in ring, all that stuff combined, she just they, they make her look like a star. She's treated as a star. She acts like a star in the ring. It all comes together. There's no goofiness. There isn't any belittlement. It's all there. Like I, I, some people might say, Charlotte, you know, whatever. No, 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 no. That's nepotism. Really, look it up. Tessa is just that. She's the best female wrestler, regardless of brand. I don't care. Then you had. Oh yeah, you had. Um, you had uh, the machine, Brian Cage come out, he got out of, you know, drove up, stormed to the ring, asking people backstage, where's OVE? He finds them in the ring, or is pointing to them in the ring, he destroys them, out comes Sammy Callahan, uh, he beats up Sammy Callahan uh, until the rest of OVE comes to help Sammy. They chain him up or handcuff him to the ring. Uh, Sammy's about to hit him with the, the Callahan Slugger. Out comes Marissa. Sammy's like, you know, everybody get out, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And he walks back in the ring and hits the cat this special on Marissa Santo. And the this is this is where I got I got that little bit of adrenaline. I got that little shout out. Ooh, that's that that's excitement. It was when right before she gets power drive by Sammy Callahan. Madman Fawlty goes over to Brian Cage and pulls a clockwork orange and holds open his eye to make Cage watch his wife getting power drive, which was just look, it was sick, but it's what is what the show needed. Uh, so you got more build to why these guys are gonna have this match, more interest, and Look, let's put this. Let's stop playing with each other. Pause and put this title on Sammy Callahan. Uh, Cage winning. Look, it would mean nothing. And let's face it, you sh they shit on Sammy Callahan. He's lost. Pentagon Jr. He's lost to other people at big pay per views. And what really has that gotten them? I mean. Pentagon left. Pen really? We and it was all for nothing. So let's do right by Sammy and have that title. And I think we can do a little bit better and elevate the company with Sammy as the at the helm with the world's title. At least that's my thought. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Anyway, let's get out of here. Catch you guys later. Peace out.